Good evening, crewmates. Captain Andy here. Here for some Final Fantasy XIV goodness. To continue helping Clayley get through Final Fantasy XIV story. I always said a Realmly Porn story, but we already did that previously. So we're going to continue uh, just easing our way into Heaven's Word. Uh, as a continuation from last time, we're going to go through the three new job quests from th levels 30 through 50. We started with Astrologer last time, which was two days ago. And today we are going to continue on with Machinist. I'm kind of glad I actually waited a little bit, a couple of days to get Machinist because the gear she had on earlier for Machinist was, uh, well, unique to, for lack of, blip, lack of a better word. And that being said, then. There we go. Alright, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Hope that, hoping that everyone's having a great week so far. Happy Friday for those. Saturday for those that other parts of the world. And yeah, we're going to go straight into a machinist. I believe when we did this a couple time, weeks ago when we unlocked all the quests, uh, machinist started in Ishgard, ended up here in Outer Lanosha, and we're going to start here. The gear leader is Stéphane Vien with a joie, and Rostenthal as... I guess a teacher. All right, let's go. Let's continue on. Let's, 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 let's. Can't speak today. <laughs> I should have done this. I would have gotten this hypercharge. All right. For a first timer, you look good and comfortable with that carbine. Pretty that comfortable last. Only last right up until you shoot the bleeding thing. Right here is a few points before we start. Oh, I can't speak today. Right. Here's a few pointers before we start so you don't put a round through your damn foot. Aim the barrel at your target, squeeze the trigger, not too bloody hard mind, and boom goes the firearm. If you shot, hit your shots well, they decide the kind of damage you can do with any particular weapon. Next, let's talk about that contraption at your waist. Now, I don't rightly understand it, but the boss tells me it draws the ether in your body and charge it into the spark. Spark, what'll feed some new devices. Devices he's working on. Oh, and pray do not forget the carrier soul of the machinist. I based the design of the more, on the more traditional soul crystals, and it will act as a focal point for the energy conversions performed by the ethereal transformer. Ah, that would be the, the contraption, Russian. Oh. That would be the contraption, contra contraption, Rosenthal mentioned. All right, that's all you're getting for now. For the now, follow me. And we'll see how you fare in the field, or you can throw your carbine in the bushes and flee like a musket whipped cur. Them zero choices. Okay, we're going west of here. Yep, right in the middle of that fate. Lovely. Yeah, so I wanted to go something. I don't think I've done. Well, I, my monk has something similar to this. Uh, I went with the uh, dreadworm gear. You get this from the be, be, uh, Bahamut battles, Bahamut and Phoenix, I believe. And I like the design of it. It has comes out with a cool hat. I don't have the uh, Bahamut weapon, so she was will have to do. Who knows, maybe we'll get after this, just uh, show it off. We'll see. Yeah, so I didn't have many op um, abilities on here, and uh, yes, I did eventually go through the entire process of leveling with missing probably some key abilities. But this way I can actually uh, go through the entire story. That's gonna be annoying. We're gonna finish up the speed.
pretty sure you may not have done anything, but um, just to get the uh, mobs out of the way, or anything. on this now, finally. All right. Ha. We want to take to the test, then, eh? The rules are simple. Make your way toward Emmett's oval and shoot what you're told to shoot. Okay. I shall wait you at the end of the trail, Claylin. I have every confidence that you shall impress our instructor with your enthusiasm and potential. With your enthusiasm and potential. Yeah, I forgot that stuff has the uh, I've lost that person. We're gonna have the good old fashioned hunt. You should all be giving your instructions while I eyeball your marksmanship. Golems be your first target. Folks are getting a feel for range and rhythm. Um, didn't I just kill a bunch of golems? Try to avoid the curls, you don't want to waste your ammunition. Okay. Sure. Oh, it's a bird. Ammunition? What is that thing you call ammunition? Oh, two more? Okay. This way? Okay. There's three of them, okay. Bad last, not bad at all. Let's sit you up against proper nasty, Zoe. Rosenthal, ain't she done enough for a beginner? Not my launcher. I want to see skins from a pair of. Alright. 
You want to see her fail? I ain't need to let you cheat his lordship. You're gonna bend rules and so will I. That symbol just one shot. Uh, just something. Dare I say, holes are just one shot and done. Then again, I'm weird. So what do I know? Oh, do we actually have to kill those things? My list didn't update. I didn't check the list. All right. Oh, docile tigers. Bring them skins in. Here you go. <laughs> Even if young Zwas helped you did well, lass. Huzzah! Huzzah, you will return to the manufacturer with us then? I said she did well. Not that we was done. You still got one last target to take down. Me. Okay. Clinton's got talent, but you and she can't win against Rochenthal. Man truly is the boss of Clayton. Would you be so kind as to give the instructor a good drubbing? Okay. Ah! 
Try with an axe or a sword. Well, there you are, Instructor. Clean had proven her potential beyond a shadow of a doubt. You are a man of your word, are you not? I, I'll come back to your bloody workshop. But do you know why I left in the first place? Two more breathe in the salty air of your beloved homeland. Go to once more breathe the salty air of your beloved homeland. Ha! I ain't got no love for Lenosha. In fact, I'd be happy if I never saw the place again. Then why would you inconvenience us by, by fleeing to our locale you so clearly despise? For a sack of guilt the size of me bloody head. I don't know who 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 he was working for, but some bloke came came around and offered me good money to ship anchor. So I did. Someone paid you to abandon the manufactory? Who would do such a thing? Like I said, I ain't never seen the saw before. But if I know, if I show me face at the workshop, this, this boss gonna want the guilt back. Back, I reckon. Pity I already spent it on, spent it all on Grog. Oh, no, no, no. You know, wiggle through my grass, grass that easily. I shall pay this debt, and in return, you will instruct every would-be machinist who walks through our door. Hi. Well, you got one bugger worth teaching, at least. I guess it's back into the frigid arms of Lady Isgard for me. Well, what was that? Why is me lordship? Now, laying out of coffers aren't exactly fit to burst in. Oh, oh, yes, you're quite right. We are rather short on coin. But I'm certain a thorough inspection of the ledgers will turn up a spare gill or two. You can't put a price on good people. People, Amy Lord? That you cannot, my dear. Dorsenthal may be a touch standoffish at times, but none can just wish his high for a marching ship. Such talk aside, I think the business he had in these parts was not concluded to its satisfaction. Without that the man would confide in me, confide in me his troubles, I suppose I shall have to contend myself with the thought of his return. But you, Claylin, you have exceeded every, my every expectation. Pray join me back at the manufactory that I might thank you in the matter that be befits your accomplishments. This will be a short stream, well, short-ish. I say that, and then my stream's up being longer than it should be. So there should be, at my understanding, six quests in total per job if you start exactly level, sorry, eight. This is number two. Between level 30 and 50. From there, I'll wait till level 60, further into the Ishgardian story, uh, Heavenward story, and then once I get to a certain point, I will finish off the job quest. That'll be a long time. That'll take a couple of days worth and do apologize as there's quite a few jobs. It'll be like three, six, nine, eleven, thirteen, yeah, thirteen. Anyways, we're here for Machinist, which is right up here. During those times, I'll try and get them done at a rel relatively good pace. Maybe I can probably do like two or three a day if I can. That'd be good. They're not as... Well, there's still quite a bit of quests. There's like one at levels 50, 53, 55, 58, and 60. So maybe like six or eight. We'll see. 
Ah, the Sevier, Sevier of the Sky Steel Manufactory. I hope to furnish you with a suitable reward, but I glance at the legend counsels me to weary imprudence. Thus, instead of presenting you with instead of pre presenting you with a firearm of the finest material, the latest design, you must humbly ask that you make do with the date with the data model, I give you a sample of it. Uh must I pass and also, and also must pass on a message to you from a Russian fall. Yes, you take your skills that he has taught you thus far and master them in the furnace of battle. Oh, something to that effect. I assume he means that call to use some further instructions. I want you to place the official level of competence. This one today can hardly be distant for one of your talents. Hey, Cleveland. Yay! Under two of the rough and tall, you learn new rough and shit techniques. Yeah, I'm level 35 already. Beyond that. I got a heat gauge. Woo! And hypercharge. I think I had this here. Or here. We'll see. And. I like my gauges here. Ooh, that heat blast. Packs up. Greetings, Kellyan. Have you become practice at defeating your foes from a, from a distance? With the range of our weapon, even Skyborne Dragons will learn to respect the threat. Pulled by, by a train machinist. Despite the proven efficiency of our cannons and ballistas, however, many knights of his guard continue to eschew firearms in favor of the spear and the sword. Ah, the freaking change of tradition. That very creepy nice folk that draws near. What is this stifling heat and stuff? So for a stench, I can scarcely breathe. And worse, I can scarcely bear the sight of my own sight garments and filthy garments. Why much you present this infatuation with splitting of all things? Just called... Just called machin machinist of your father. And father and you, you knock them all. At all, the year in the workshop so offends you. He is the Count Boran Gwen Darlinao. Would that I could shed this honorous duty. Would that I could shed this honorous duty. But as manufacturing chief, I must be supervised this operation. Supervise? You bear the visit about once a moon. I really get every man is ready. Every man drink. Path to from alone. And what of it? Smithing is a commonest profession, even as overseer even as overseers and the role of a noble. As one of the four founders of this garden house, highly not enjoys a privileged position. But misfortune has waged a constant war of attrition on our forces, and our claim to that position grows weak. Thus must we attend to our duties with uncommon zeal. You do this as common as this one. But we shall not suffer this mean predicament any forever. No, my son. You will reclaim your honor of our family and with your spear in hand. You must need, you must need to become a knight to steal non, non peril and bear our flag onto the field of battle. Father, the face of, the face of war changes each passing day. Soon, soon will come a time when Machina shall. Form the bulk of our armies. If you think of these stagnant ideas of yours, you will be set over by the wave that carries us forward. I tie your flesh of fancy, Stefanie. Stefanie, without successes to back them, your arguments bring as empty as my treasure room. The Holy See has announced a tourney. You will best serve your house for returning to the practice field, and thence claiming victory in the melee. Melee. 
regret that you were subject to our troubles. But Father's attitude is sadly representative of the greater part of Fishguard populace. Your heads may as well be made from the stones of the from the stone of the, of the city walls. I have however designed a weapon of sure brilliance, such brilliance. That the light of its potential will penetrate even the depths of mine. A Russian song as well will accompany me to ring such a galley to gather materials for the prototype. Why don't you join us? Practicing your marksmanship with his guard will only invite suspicion and ridicule. This is a perfect opportunity to receive further tutelage from Arachnus Hall. That you might also train under the warm rays of, of the north sun is simply a fortuitous boon. Alright. Yeah, my next uh, stream I'm gonna work on uh, Dark Knight. After that, continue on with the story. Well, there's some side quests to do around Discard, Discard, and continue with the story after that. Yeah, it's gonna be a quiet night today. We'll see. I would like to get back to doing some some extremes and experts with Andy. We gotta do the story of Dawn Trail for that first. And I have other ulterior motives why I want to do the story of Andy. Get ideas. Rushenthal. You catch so dragged out here as well, did you? The boss said he needed some magic parts, and it just had to open the big gob with this gully and wreck in the gully. It's been running here for nigh on five years now. Though so many useless bits and bobs were like stripped out long ago. But seeing if you checked all this bloody way, man, as well see, see how far you coming, you're shooting. Go say hello to the other two and keep them safe while they concentrate on concentrate on the scrounging. Okay. Stefan Vien and defeat enemies that appear. Ah, you came. Splendid. Though I'm afraid the rewards have yet to meet the risk of this monster infested crash site. And speaking of monsters... Wow, okay. Hello, Joa. Practicing your marksman since, are you? Maybe I'll have a moment's peace to look for this part while you watch me back. Ugh, not again. Take care of that, would you? Well then. at those you've been working on those shots haven't you last I see you're good and ready to bloody hell that's a big one you're up 
Nice form last. Tightly grouped shots. Now, what? Now, it was just me eyes playing tricks with it somewhat other than guts drop out of that thing belly. Here. Hmm. Looks like a bit of machinery. The boss have a better look would have a better idea than me. Alright, hello. Oh, this way, not not to show for it. Aside from your obvious improvements and marksmanship, of course. Hmm? What's that you have there? Magic gyroscope number 41. Silver metal rings tends to get together to spin and rotate independently of one another. What this fantastic creation could be used for is beyond you. <laughs> And this will that along with the creature's energies, a eh? extraordinary. By the fury, do you know what this is? You found that very component I was searching for. That's wonderful, me lordship. Our fortunes took a took a turn for the better the moment you walked through the the workshop doors, Clayland. Finding the rare magic part in the beast Billy ain't for it. That's bloody sorcery. Or so I'd think if I didn't see you shoot the damn thing with me own two eyes. Nice work there, by the way, Clayton. I can already hear the worry of my invention come to life. Come, we must return to the manufactory at once. That was a quick quest. Okay. Like I said, this could be a very quick stream. But each stream tend to have at least each of the jobs always had like a stream dedicated for that. Or a stream dedicated for that job. I take that back, it's not just these two ones, it's also these guys here. So there's thirteen plus plus Twenty-four in total. But the difference is, these ones I can do at maybe a later time, maybe. But I do need to level them up. Luckily, there's uh, some best I can help with that. Another thing. That truly was a stroke of luck, Leyland. With that wretchedly rare gyroscope in hand, it will only be a matter of time until I have a working prototype. Instead of twiddling your thumbs until its completion, however, you shall have your hands full of mastering a new skill. Russian folk paid me pass on to you the particulars of Heat Blast. Train hard, my friend. Ooh, Heat Blast! I know the two lists of Russian Saul and he's already new Martians. Martians are ridiculous. Marvel. Well, within the very hour at least. It's unfortunate that many historians cannot appreciate the practicality of my work. People such as my father, for instance. Uh, this is not to be done with this dreadful order. But I'm stuck on you, my son. The days of shining your nightly training have come to an end. Never should I have allowed you to set foot inside this workshop. Had I but known that the curiosity displayed as a boy developed with this all consuming distraction. Is that all you come to say, Father? I am well aware of your distaste for. Nay, Stefan. Stefan. Nay, 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 Stefan. Nay,
Hosted by my ears, I signed to the call to arms. My house held in that and gone to answer. As you well know, however, our co company is our light on matches. If you are to keep to avoid dishonoring our name, every evil soldier, soldier. My own son included, must take up spear and sword and march to battle. I have not I have not the disposition for changing charging to enemy rank father. I did not raise that tower. Consider your next words carefully, boy. As manufacturer chief, chief I hold the authority to expel anyone from the workshop. Oh, pardon me, mayhap. There's only one chief we, we enter to. I I understand that our ranks have grown thin. This is our this is our house of dire needs for the support my, my machinists will bring. Count of the Minor Dragon, the Spear and Sword is the work of seasoned heroes. Warriors possessed of unflagging stamina and robust and robust. Unflagging stamina and robust uh, equipped with a firearm, however, even the scrawny commoner could engage with the same, same scale demons from afar. Think of it, Father. If the masses were trained, to, trained in the machinist profession, the catch-up to the fanging claw would be considerably diminished. Machinist companies would soon form the backbone of our defense, and as the master of the manufactory, the accolades would belong to House Helenair. Train the masses? A foolish boy, so a low-born army could every place a contingent of disciplined knights. At this time, my lord, Savada expected to set upon our defenses within the hour. Savada, you mean to engage the exact group who would not put our knights? What would you have me do? The dragon flies straight as an arrow for our very own Skylock, Skyfire locks. Should, should let me destroy it. The price would be steep in both point and honor. Father, you must allow me you must allow me to, to replay to replay my, my machinist. Once you have harnessed them in battle, even you will be able to, you will be unable to deny their effectiveness. Do as you will, Stephanivier. As matters stand, I will not turn away a lame trophy boy to offer to deliver to offer to defend our home holding. Be certain to assemble your forces at the lock ere Savar arrives. I fear that I have allowed my passions to impair my better judgment. Of all my budding how come of all my budding budding machinists, only you have seen true combat. To see then that I would trust the the use of my prototype device, the rook. The rook as I have been calling it, is also to rip a type of machinist weapon that fights on its own. Do you recall us and the creation of the of the Ethereal Transformer? That contraption at your waist will convert your body's ether into lightning aspect of energy required to power the turret. You can simply to activate the weapon and it will supplement your own attacks. Savada has played House Helenad for long years. Should you employ the rook uh, for good effect, then we may rid ourselves of uh, both a deadly enemy and my father's antiquated notions in one fell swoop. Tomaton Queen, I'll get there eventually. Well, okay then. We are as ready as uh, we are as ready as ready can be. All except for our wayward instructor, would you be so kind as to go kick uh, Rashantal and inform him of the ur urgency of this of our situation? I imagine he is wagering the foundation somewhere, making his unhurried way to the work to the workshop. I'm going to spoil something. You even have to finish up the entire Heaven Dwarf storyline? See this poor fellow up here? He's been hanging here for the last 10 years. 
Feel bad for the guy. But he must have arm strength. Uh, that'll make the destroyer look at him uh, with envy. Poor guy. Not you. So many quests I can do here. Looking forward to it too. But now is not the time for that. Oh, you're up there. All right. Uh, I guess it goes. All right. Scrag I caught creeping about near the workshop. Up to no bloody good, I reckon. So I sat him down for a friendly chat. Mm hmm? A dragon attack? And the boss needs every. every ant on deck, does he? I'll be right there. Just as soon as I'm done bringing some ashes from this ugly sod. You know, when there's one rat, there's always a dozen more. It might be best if you took a quick look around here. And deal with any troublemakers before you head back. No need to burn anyone, mind. The noise from a slug shot ought to scare him off. Too far down. All right. It's just gonna shoot him. Okay. Celesto, one of your fellow merchants, fellow machinists. If you, did, if you didn't know, I was preparing for a fight with Savado when that thug ambushed me. Don't bother chasing him. I know he knows more than what he was paid to do. But I doubt he knows more than what he was paid to do. But he did make it damn clear that, clear that someone out there has a grit against our workshop. Anyway, I ought to get back to my duties. We ain't never fought a proper battle, let alone against a monster like Savada. And we need all the advantages we can get. Yeah, we get to all these quests moment momentarily. Twenty eyed loiter. How oh, one tooth. But I but I suppose I should expect not less from one of Rocks and Thaw's underlings. You learned it from the pretty vicious brute himself. Heed my words. The sky still manufactory plays haven the villains. For that safe to discard citizens, the manufactory meets must needs be shut down. They're rogue they're rogue dick. The rogue had instructed poses as the former Commodore of the Knights of the Barracuda. This is a lie. 
In truth, he's a bloodthirsty pirate who murdered his entire crew. <gasps> Must be believed. Appears a little bit empty. Kind of sad, though. If not a little sad. There's nothing here. Must be upstairs. Ooh, a sharp pipe loitering. Could have taken off a toe. You're Rossenthal's new pup, ain't you? If it ain't trouble, if it's trouble you're looking for, then look no further than that backstabber Lominson cur. Okay. Is everything all right? Rossenthal tells me that there are villains on foot. Making trouble for the workshop. Yeah, I shot some of them. Intimidating my machinists were they? Setting fires and spreading rumors. Ra too has ho overheard vile slander intended to defame our, our master of marksmanship. If every care to choose the right employee, me or he could do a lot worse in the form of Commodore Lince Lomitas Barracuda. Now half of Israel thinks he's lying. That he's a convict of terrible crimes. If someone seeks to harm the manufacturer's setting with these attacks upon our entrusted character. I am sorry, I am sorry, Rosenthal. Your association with the machinists have brought you not but ridicule and insult. Don't blame yourself, boss. After all, more than half that, that's probably true. What? I. I was a comment over the Paracuda and the Kudas. Right up till he got kicked out of my yard for making bloody metal things. That's why you found me in Camp Overlook. I was there to visit one of me and one of me old underlings. Or you'd rather take another act of the fate before you talk to me. Make mistakes cost some more. Cost some more than others. There's no bastard of Lenore side here. No bastard or Rosh, I'd call, call me friend. Your mysterious rival must have learned of me trying to pass. Because he offered a fortune to me to accept the job as your master of marksmanship. I suppose they thought the workshop would be ruined once the truth behind me. The charming reputation became not become part of common knowledge. But as it turns out, I don't take kindly to being some physical puppet. Batch's puppet. So I took their coin and yours, made for the hill, made for the hills. I had no intention of fulfilling the contract. Not till your adventure here went and got me fired up for teaching, teaching the truth. That said, there's not me agreement that says I gotta fight bleeding dragons. If me students would give a better shoving, showing without me there growling over their shoulders any road. No support will be missed. Well, Rosenthal is may have been correct in his assumption. Our demonstration will be the more impressive by his absence. Let's check our weapons one last time and assemble at Skyfire Locks. Skyfire Locks, that's in Western, uh, that's in. Corthus, Central Highlands. Yep. Yeah, 
He don't use this. Sky Firelocks. With Stefan Nivier. Stefan Nivier. Let's go have some fun. Allow me to brief you on our, our defense strategy ere the dragon and his minions arrive. On top of each on top of each of the three locks, we have placed a dragon slaying cannon. Our task at the machine shall be to defend the cannon from Savannah's Savannah's lesser kin. You will find a lock in the northeast. Locked at the northwest. And I locked the death house. I track the concentrations of our enemies and direct you to the cannon most in need of uh, protection. Dragons are come. Everyone to your positions. To the northwest cannon. This way. Well, I go to the south. Sorry. Apparently, reading is important. We stopped the unstoppable wyvern, but of course. Look, it's Zavada.
Well, Father, do you, do you see now how we might prevail against Dragon without risking the lives of our soldiers? It was a most impressive display. I must admit, your commoners acquitted themselves admirably. I thought I heard the terrible din of cannons being fired. And what do I hasten out here to find but the high-born island ass? Frolic in the snow with the little born lackeys. I have to provide you with this opportunity to improve the ailing reputation of your ho noble house. Does the consideration of how semi not merit a formal reply? Lord. Telegrinch, my apologies. The fool was upon us ere we could but quilt the parchment. Ah, yes. I imagine you were full occupied with scraping together a serviceable company of soldiers. If only your dear son was as ardent with his nightly training as he is with his idle tinkering. There's that idol of, of my work. There's that idol in my work. You would not speak such insults had you seen my machinist in action. Oh, such a temper. It would seem your association with commoners has eroded your manners as well as your martial skills. If you're so confident in these machines of yours, Mayhap you should enter him into the upcoming tourney. Mayhap I shall. Upon my oath, we'll turn his guard tradition, his guard tradition bound combat onto its ear. These adjudicators will be most impressed with your lowborn rabble when your lowborn rabble is chopped to pieces by the test of blades of noble champions. My son, what have you done? The tourney is the stage upon which the front which has flaunted the might and metal of our four great houses. Only the finest, finest nature chosen to participate. Even with the aid of your machinists, our battle ranks and little chance of victory. We must now parade our shame before the highest echelons of the Holy See. Do not, do not, do not be so swift to, to dismiss our chances, Father. I give you my word, House Helenad will lead the contest with, with its pride intact. And furthermore, should he win, I will, I will have your word that we shall yield the running of the, of the manufacturer to me. Very well, my stubborn boy. And whether you win or no, you be sure to give House of my other good darn, a darn good pummeling. I shall see it done, Father. We will not disappoint you. Hey, for those that are joining, thank you for joining. Hope you're having a great night so far. As you can see, we're working towards the Machinist quest line, and we're on our way. I think we're beyond the little halfway point, or at least up to level 50. Clayland, by virtue of your undeniable expertise, my father has at last recognized the value of mach the value of machinistry. But we cannot stop at but one. But we cannot stop at but one hard-headed knight. 
This training will be our opportunity to demonstrate all, to all and sundry the potential of our profession. Me Lordship, if I may, it seems that that Lord Ted Lagrinch has a dislike for commoners such as me. If me presence will cause you more trouble, then mayhap I should quit the manufactory. Pay no mind to that preening fop lass. He's all piss and wind. I ever has to, ever has to, I got stopped to, stop to needle me, me in such a manner. To not you, my dear, that he despises. Tis the mingling of highborn and lowborns. Hazamaya is a powerful family, and their talent to the, for the building of fortifications has brought them vast uh, wealth and influence. Staunch allies of Fast Duran Dad, the Zamayas have also been party to a number of significant victories. Thus do, we, do, do they stand at the peak of his guarded society, looking down their noses at any who do not share their noble, their noble pedigree. If you truly wish to please me, then I would have you shine your bright, have you shine your brightest in the tourney, and wipe that arrogant smirk from his face. Shall we be on our way? Oh, I think there might be two or three quests left, so. Be a quick as you do this night. I think the other ones are a little bit quick as well. The Dark Knight, I don't remember though. We'll find that out next time. But I'm not doing Dark Knight tonight. Maybe I'm getting old. Maybe, but uh, sleep comes to me a lot earlier lately. I must be getting old. I don't. I also don't want people standing on my li my yard. Get off my yard. I must commit my misgivings to you, Tony Lin. We inquired as to our chances at victory. My prospectivator returned an unfavorable result. We tried the more dragons to shoot, but such a battle has not prepared us to face coordinated parties of seasoned knights. My machine is simply not ready. It's fortunate then that the attorney is, some yet, is yet some days away. Let us keep such disheartening talk from our colleagues to continue to train them. And ourselves for the contest ahead. This is a low for time. Greetings, player. The training proceeds at pace, I trust. Stay a while. We can discuss our strategy for the tourney. Could it appear everyone is present? Even our dear instructor, so let us delve into the particulars uh, for uh, the upcoming contest. Now, the degree of favor the Holy See bestows is much influenced by the outcome of the tourney. Thus, do the nobles enter only the most able champions? I assume that Tadan Nikonix, in his small minded uh, maliciousness, seeks to humiliate us before the adjudicators, and thereby convince the Holy See to cease the flow of funds to the manufactory. Understand me, Lordship. Most historians ain't highly aware that machinists exist. Why do you so grab Lord Tendakin's attention? Just because he's like he knows that your firearm can kill a man with naught but his little fingers on the trigger. It's the same reason these laws in Insulamenta prevent any drunken old horse from carrying a musket. And this much hacker hierarchy ain't exactly fair and measured now, is it? If you're on the lowest floor of the ladder with weapons like ours, you can be sure as the, sure the tide that their barrels will soon be pouring towards them over privileged bastards that stand upon them at the top. But as you seem to say, most of the lowest don't seem to understand the threat what an army mission is to pose. Just till I get the bloke to step ahead. Just step ahead, I'll give them that much. I, he's a despicable fellow, but also uncommonly clever. Even so, he has failed to arrive to the most obvious conclusion. A well trained and well armed properly with strengthening his guard, he has a sensible. We are to convince the Holy See that, of that fact, that we must gain victory at the tourney. <laughs> he got something 
any special in mind then? I've been considering several strategies, but to practice them here is the plain view of our hyper series with boiler effectiveness. You must need to look further afield to look for a suitable location to train. But sure, he says I know it's not how to do the trick. I'll secure us a place where we can shoot our hearts and tents. Primary preparation for the journey. After you have attended to your duties at the manor, of course. After you, Clayland, I'll have you test another of my innovations. Stay behind, and I shall make some adjustments to your, to your the Zero Transformer. Yay! Press accepted! Press ended! Forgive my duplicity, Clayland. That talk of adjustments is merely an excuse. Professor, we might speak alone. Now, you heard me boast to my father that machinist companies would, could soon form the backbone of our defense. That was something of a exaggeration. When it comes to gigantic dragons, I one may as well be firing at the side of a at the side of a public town. In the journey, however, the lesser side of our opponents will will, will work against us. Requires intensive training to consistently track and score hits against targets that are both small and agile. <laughs> and as there's little time for us before the contest, our, our bad victory will depend largely upon your skilled contribution. As well as able to display even a fraction of your battle savvy, then the reputation of the machinist will flourish. Thus, I need you to attend our practice with undivided, undivided focus and provide a shining example of which she might have. My head fire. Okay. Yeah, another level 45. Okay, that's fine. Once Wa has completed her task at the manor, manor can be off to blood tour. I wonder what could be keeping her. A trip to the market to chuck the larder or larder or some such. Thing. Oh, hello, Clayton. You must be eager to get in some practice before the big contest. I'll be ready as soon as I've I've hauled me I've hauled me shop into the manor. Plan to continue my machine my machinist training. I can't be sure it can be other chores. I made a promise to the count. But I won't keep you waiting much longer. I'll run to the banner with what I've got and come back with this big sack for the big sack afterwards. How was Ryan's secret? Can you keep an eye on this other sack until I get back, Clayland? Shouldn't take too long. Help in secret. There you go. Quest. House Alinad. Alright. Yeah, I should go use that a lot more people. Now it's uh, a little different. me at the sack. Heavy sack. An unmarked hempen sack Roy well, has yet to deliver to, to Helen Ed Manor. Ah, letting you had to young Roy here, are you? Very good. This was the last of her task for the day, so she's free to assist the FINBA in his work. Pure return to your tourney preparations. Thank you, Clayton. 
Leyland? I appreciate you helping me, of course. But I appreciate you helping his lordship even more. The Count was against me becoming a machinist. He knew that me dad's too feeble to work, though, and was kind enough to keep to keep me placed on the, on the man's staff. He found me on the streets of work for this job, and I can't thank him enough. Sometimes I don't feel right that I repay him by spending half me time at the manufactory. But maybe now that you're around for Stephen Vier, his lordship won't need me to be a machinist no more. Yes. Hmm, I never thought of it that way. But we should be going we should be getting ourselves to blood shore. South Blood Shore, okay. Right, let's begin, shall we? Our objective shall be to explore the most effective methods of counter our nightly opponents. If a knight cannot reach you, he cannot hurt you. Thus, we shall concentrate on those machine skills that hinder movement. I have prepared a case of aromatic meats said to be irresistible to giant crabs. For the purpose of this exercise, Imagine that shell covered creatures lured by its scent to be enemy knights. And for tactics to prevent their advance. Should the box be broken open, this would signal your defeat. Let's see what strategies you can devise for us, eh, Clayland? Alright, let's see what happens. Thing from the deep.
left fellow was rather unexpected, but you handled him nonetheless. Well done. Your performance has prompted my prospective meter and inspired me with entirely new, new strategies. Inspired me. If I may, me lord, see how well Clayland's coming along. Mayhap you don't need me in the tourney no more. Whatever could you think? Whatever could make you think that, my dear? I need you now more than ever. The sight of you, a common or scant battle experience, sending seasoned knights stumbling and sprawling, will open the eyes of the Holy See. Why, you shall be the bullet that pierces their, their tradition bound hearts. Very well, me lord. Do me best in the name of House Halinaz, for with you and the Count. That's the spirit. Now, I must return to the workshop. Oh, let's go to Isgard. Oh, look, we've done this one already now. Uh, yes, foundation. Troubles me somewhat, but until the moment her hand closes about closes about her stock, she'll be as ferocious as, as ever. Rage against the machinists. The day of the tourney is finally upon us. This is it, Clayton. This is this is machinist's moment of truth. We gather our colleagues before. Ross should be outside performing some last minute farm inspections. At Austin well, I may have a better idea on it. His rare bus better than I. Am. Hey, Joa. Oh, Clayton, this is a disaster. Someone has broken towards storage crates and smashed all the firearms. I, I must tell this lordship. No, I must check the other crates first. But maybe, what do we do? Slow down. I, you're right, of course. Getting in the panic won't help us. Won't, won't help us none. I'll see what's become of the rest of the weapon. Then report with fighting fighting to the lordship. Rashadal, last I saw was in some fresh air outside. That was fresh air behind the workshop. But I think we've got visitors again. Stubborn bastards. Yeah, it's messed up our, our firearms, you see. See, whatever scrag it is, and once it's gone, gone. Sorry. See, whatever scrag is, as once it's gone, is done with being subtle. You best run off with the rest of these. You best run off with the, the rest of these jugs before they decide to set fire to the place. You know what to do. Warning slug shots only so that we don't bring the wrath of the Temple Knight down upon us. Meet me back in the workshop when you're done with your patrol. Please, no! It was not, it wasn't my idea. It was the one armed man. somewhere. There he is. Ah. 
That purse ain't going. Sorry. That purse ain't. Oh. Ah, that purse ain't worth getting shot at. He tells me that you've been both both maybe to change out pirate mer Mr. Grinch again. I'm afraid the damage has already been done, my lordship. My lordship, you that scrape together our spares, you less than half the weapons we need for the tourney. The half will just have to do. It will be difficult, but I know I I know but I believe you still have a chance. What the bloody hell is that? Someone like someone's fired that damn cannon or something like that. Bastards. That's it then. We have to forfeit the contest. Nay, my dear. There is a time to remedy this. These efforts to confound our chances to serve, but this with the fires of my determination. Pray accompany me back inside Cleveland. Russian fall. Swa, lead your fellow merchant machinists to the Trinity Field and don your mass of supreme confidence. Whilst our mystery had an enemy. Distracted by your show of bravo, bravado, I shall work to replace the damaged firearms. But how can you crash so many weapons bef before the contest begins? The trust of it, I cannot. But my usual exact, not my usual exact specifications, of course. But the four of us should be aware of the, f the poor quality of our replacements. George, I must fight. Let's fight. That much harder to compensate for your challenges, lack of firepower. Uh, do we best to keep the others in high spirits too, Lord Stefano Gay? Me apologies, I wasn't trying to eavesdrop or nothing, but when I heard the noise. Ah, Celesto. Well there's not for it now. Welcome to the welcome to the conspiracy. Formidable fools, Major. Formidable fools, meager chance of success. This shall be a victory worthy of song. Take one more from this and that be it. With the odds not so heavily set against us, but we cannot let a few setbacks stand in the way of our moment of glory. Power of attorney. <laughs> of attorney. Ricochet? Yep. We have done all that we can. That we, we have done all that can be done. At this time, we join our companion and serve the field in which the attorney is to take place. You are familiar with Trap Dragon's head address? This ground will make for an excellent, more interesting arena. Houses have yet to find the forces. Maybe we tied to took the arena and formulate a winning strategy. Are you sure to be preparations, my son? These tales of here will 
hired thugs terrorizing machinists and destroying equipment. Do not fill me with confidence. Remember that the collected gains of Isgard shall be focused on this contest. A poor showing will cost us our funding from, from the Holy See and cast an uncertain shadow over the future of the manufactory. I have never been more ready, Father. Now, relinquish your doubts, find yourself at a new vantage point, and enjoy the spectacle. I will have to find a perch myself, and here's one piece of advice before I go. Make the most of the train. There are two cho few choice spots where I'd lay an ambush or expect me enemies to lay down one for me. Just be sure you're given a good place. Give the place a good once over, eh? You heard the instructor, give the word, we shall endeavor to learn the lay of the land. Alright, let's get this last one started. Straight where we need it, okay? So the enemy standard and the answer. and a spot and also affords the fine view of both camps. Press the attack to be able to okay. I can get into this night. Ah, 
the manufa the manufa manufacturing workers in all their glory. I imagine there are many who are curious, even eager to witness your fight this day. Unfortunately for the spectators, however, House of the Mayas will end this mockery of a contest all too, too swiftly. A threat you will, you shall You shall let the tattered remainder of your standards speak for us. <laughs> so it's convicted from the young from the king of the commoners. Come then. All the players are present. Let the journey begin.
the little man is uh, gone. Oh. We gotta get their standard. My bad. Not a problem. Can be my little friend. And you gotta go up the sign. Congratulations, Machinus. You've proven yourselves not entirely without merit. House of Zamael will gladly welcome you, Kuzin, House Alinez, next company of reinforcements. Aye, your novel toys come found in my knights and won this day of flags. I would see, however, how you fare against the adversaries who seek not to break your standard, but to spill your life's blood. They soon come when we fight side by side. Well, that's quite the turnaround. Mayhap you shall understand why the knight is the master of the battlefield. Son, you have travel triumphed against all who'd see you fail. But of course, Father, there's no certainty that machine street cannot overcome. Attorney victory. How many how many years has it been? At last, do we begin to reclaim the, the influence we have lost? And there's a, there shall be more to come. As long as you are true to your word, as long as you are true to your word, that means no more rewarding my nightly skills, no more destructive visits to the workshop. Stephen Vienne. I hereby relinquish you the full authority of the manufactory. May your mission just be the spears that pierce our foes and the shield that defend our walls. Do as you will, my son, for the glory of Ishgard and her people. The days of the machinists has begun, my friend. Follow me, and together we shall ring the rest at helmets of, of the old guard. Huzzah!
Let's go uh, finish this up. Yeah, it's a... Uh, took a couple hours. I'm not really just... I'm gonna be shy of about maybe 15 minutes or like two hours. Which is... With exception to ninja fishing, this is actually... On par with some other ones. One battle of Quailing, where your team grasped the tactics, carried the day. And this is not. That is to say, not if you ever avoid skill, skill with a firearm. With this victory, I have become manufacturer chief in both name and deed, and I intend to make the most of my newfound freedom. Indeed, my first act upon returning to the workshop was to improve upon the, the third transformer. This the model is yours, with my thanks. The journey explores certain made at in that it proceeds with the design, which I have endeavored to compensate. Please go on, play that. That I have further modifies your etherometer. Ethero transformer. Ethero transformer. Alright. I'm a machinist, not a man. Alright folks, get to us a little bit more, uh, less noisy. Pretty good spot. Once again folks, who is that joining? Thank you for joining. Hopefully we can go as pleasantly as possible. I'm going to get some sleep soon. I do apologize if my started to droop there for the last 10 minutes or so. Tomorrow should be a little bit easier in the eyes. Until then, you'll take care, get plenty of rest, enjoy your weekend. Have a good night, folks.